Hi, in this video we'll see how to use LM35 temperature sensor with ESP8266. For this project I'm using Node MCU. So if you are not using Node MCU and you are uh, only having a generic ESP8266, uh, you should uh, create a voltage divider that should convert 3.3 volt 1 volt. So here uh, I'm using Node MCU. So I have a built-in voltage divider for the pin A0. So I don't need to create any voltage divider for my project. So I'm directly connecting my output of temperature sensor to the A0 pin. So here you can see the same setup. I've connected a LM35 to my ESP8266 Node MCU. So I have connected my node MCU to my system. Let's see how to program for this. First we will check how it works. So I am speaking with my serial. And here I am in code. The reason I'm using 17 is that uh, in Node MCU the pin 17 is mapped as uh, ADC pin. That's the reason I'm uh, giving the 17 pin number here. Make sure uh, I think you can also give A0 for this. So here we need to do some math calculation. Need a calculator for it. 60.3 into 100 divided by 1034 gives 0 0.332. The program is finished. Let's check our port and the correct board. So everything is set to correctly. I'm gonna upload my code. Temperature was not declared. So the code has uploaded. Let's check our temperature in serial monitor. So here is my room temperature now. It is oscillating between 29 to something. So the reason the temperature is changing here is that I have kept my sensor very close to my laptop. The air vent is very close to the sensor so that's the reason the temperature is oscillating here so this is a simple program we made our LM35 to work with our ESP8266 let's do some IOT with it so here my program that I have written for sending this data to a browser. Let's upload this program to my ESP8266. I'm gonna upload it. So this one I have already created. So exactly the same prog program which I have used to uh, read the temperature data. The same program is used here. Instead of uh, writing the temperature data into a serial monitor, we are calling our browser and 
uploading the data to a web browser. So here our program is getting uploaded. So it's uploaded. I check the serial monitor for the IP address or ESPS connector. Make sure you are also changing the baud rate. So it has connected to the uh, this IP. I'm gonna copy it, paste into my browser. So here you can see that the temperature now is 29. Let's this browser will automatically refresh for every 30 seconds. That is how it has programmed. You can also change if you want to reduce the refresh rate. You can also change the sorry, it's here as a 10 second here. If you want to change this, you can change this, the refreshing rate here. You can also see here the browser is refreshing for every 10 seconds and the value of the temperature sensor is updating here. So I'm going to close the sensor and see how the value is changing in our browser. So here you can see that the temperature is increasing slightly from 29 to 30. So for the next refresh it just increasing rapidly moves from 30 to 32. So it's going up. Let's see whether the temperature is getting reduced after I removed my hand. So here you can see that the temperature is getting reduced. So we'll do one more thing with our ASP8266 and LM35 sensor. We'll upload the data to ThingsPeak. So go to ThingsPeak. And I'm going to create a new channel. I'm going to name it as LM35. And the field as temperature. Save it. Go to API keys. Copy this key. I have already uh, made a program to upload my data to thingspeak.com. So here is my program that I have written previously to upload the data of LM35 to thingspeak.com. So I have updated my API key and make sure you are also changing your SSID and password leave everything as it is and upload the program yes the program is uploaded let's check it is trying to connect to my Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi is connected and you can also see uh, I got my first reading here, it is 29.33 and it is shooting to 29.65. So there is a delay between uh, one data to another. So you can see that here a delay, there is 20 seconds delay between a one reading to another reading. So the second reading also the same data here.
So I'm gonna leave this for a few minutes and later we'll come and check how the temperature is responding. I'm gonna put my sensor near to my laptop vent, close to it. Let's see how it responds. 